I've gotten quite a few questions from some of my colleagues about how in the heck do you make all those teaching videos. And uh, so that's, this is my attempt to try to explain it to the best of my ability on uh, making screencasts. That's really what those videos are really called because they have specialized software to capture video that's, that's really on your screen. Whatever happens on your screen, you can record it, whether it be a movie, whether it be your PowerPoint, uh, your, your desktop, whatever it is, if it's there, it can record it. So I'm going to concentrate on two things today, software and then hardware. Let's start with hardware first because that's kind of the heart of, of screencasts. And there are three devices that you can um, use. Obviously, the first one is a, a computer. And in particular with newer computers, I would really recommend a, a good HD camera and HD, um, HD um, uh, sound or audio. Because I, I think a, a lot of times when you get the add-ons, uh, like on some of the, um, the uh, external mics or external cameras, they're not quite as, as high quality. So I would really kind of stick with that. Laptops are really handy just because they're so, so mobile. The desktop ones gives you a little bit more power and, sto and storage. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I would definitely recommend uh, any of the one of those threes. I, I like using the desktop just because of the storage and the power that it has. But that's just just my preference. <coughs> the next thing is this drawing tablet or um, graphics tablet. And the one the reason I like uh, this particular one that I have is because it has some buttons. Uh, on this picture that I have on the screen, it doesn't have the buttons, but most of the buttons are kind of appear right about there. And the, the buttons allow us, allow me anyway, to change colors and functions. I have a kind of an, an erase button uh, that's located here, and then these are the colors. I just click on those and it allows me to, to, to change the function kind of on the fly. This isn't really necessary because like PowerPoint has some annotation software kind of built into it, and you can use that, but you use your mouse to do it. And I'm not very talented with, with the mouse and be able to... Uh, maybe write words or arrows or that kind of thing. So that could be a little bit cumbersome. This makes it relatively easy for me. Now when we look at the software, that's kind of the, the soul of it all. And, and really, um, you don't have to necessarily just use Keynote and, and PowerPoint, but that that's really the, the main ones right here. So uh, Keynote and PowerPoint are kind of the main um, presentation software that I use. That way I can roll text on the screen and change pictures and do a variety of other uh, kind of cool kind of graphic kind of things that I can't do because I'm not a very good artist. But um, Keynote and PowerPoint allow you to do that. But I mean you could use the background of your uh, of, of your screen. You could just use the desktop of your screen especially if you're doing mathematical calculations. You want to get maybe a white screen and then that way you can do the calculations on it. But the other thing that I've learned uh, to do as well is I start, I'm start i started to use some of my software. Like here's a, an app that I got off of um, the Internet, and it talks about DNA structure. And so I can use this software to make a screencast, and I can write on it, and, and I can put my, my pretty face on it and, and talk about DNA structure. So um, you can kind of be creative with the software, but primarily... Uh, Keynote and PowerPoint are, are my two major ones. Now another has come on the scene lately, it's called Prezi. It's kind of an interesting one. It allows you to kind of fly around the screen, zoom in, zoom out, just going to, not necessarily in a linear pat pattern. And, it, and I think it has a lot of promise, especially with the um, the different templates they have on it. You should check it out. It's Prezi.com. It costs $60 a year if you're an educator. So I, I would definitely maybe uh, download a, a demo and see how you like it. And then another piece of software is kind of the ink that runs all of this uh, stuff on my um, graphics tablet. Uh, like it allows me to change colors. Um, and it's free. That's the great thing about OmniDazzle. OmniDazzle is a free ink. allows me to use my pen on my, um, on my tablet just like a whiteboard marker or, or you know, a piece of chalk or whatever it might be. So that's for free. So OmniDazzle is probably a good stop for you. This next one is the screen capture um, uh, software. And there's a lot of different choices when it comes to that. There's obviously the free ones like uh, uh, Screencast-O-Matic, Screen Toaster, but probably the easiest one to use is probably Screener. Screener is uh, pretty intuitive. You just hit record, there you are, 
you can do a, a couple of things with it but but it's really no nonsense very intuitive and it, the, if you want to start there to see if you like it for free you don't need a, all the, the the necessary things that I talked about basically just a computer and you can kind of go from there so but then I have the not so free category and the most screencasters that I've seen um, and watched Camtasia is kind of the, their choice um, but I use ScreenFlow. They're both $99. You can get them both on uh, Apple app, the Apple App Store. But uh, both of them do pretty much the same thing. Once you capture it, then you can do some editing, uh, add special features, some graphic uh, effects, and lots of support on uh, YouTube as far as tutorials if you want to uh, become an expert in that area. So that's the software. Some quick hints. Um, I'm not going to... Uh, talk all of, about all each one of them but just some just some um, ones that probably are important number one keep it about 10 minutes definitely show your face kids love seeing your face because they kind of laugh at you and say oh my word Mr. Delsa, I saw what you did that was that was crazy um, they kind of like I think seeing us make fools of ourselves so it's kind of entertainment for them uh, I wouldn't put music uh, on this at all uh, watch your lighting um, the, Obviously, this is the thing. One of the things I struggle with all the time because I, I, I'm in a pretty, um, a not a well lit room, and so I've got to improve some of my uh, my lighting. And understand, every five minutes you're going to take an hour of editing and uploading a variety of other things. So those are just some hints that that, that uh, uh, once you get started, you ought to keep in mind. I hope this has helped you uh, kind of get started and and you really the sky's the limit. You can take uh, a lot of your powerpoints that you you know, use for years and convert them and make them nice and fresh with your your pretty face on it. Um, I hope uh, you'll take this information and, and use it to your advantage and happy, skin, happy screencasting. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.